so here we are in the just oculus quest 3 and here you can see there is three curve ui first one is uh, alpha means that is the transparent second one is the overlap so it is the most advanced and most good looking canvas and i don't know about the alpha cutout but uh, in this tutorial i'm going to share with you two way first thing will be very simple and second thing will be we have to create from the scratch so let's start the two day tutorial from the unity hello everyone welcome back on instrument channel guys i'm ramke singh unity game developer youtuber and blogger so in last part we just discussed about the simple canvas where we can interact and that is the meta xr sdk in the future i will do for unity xr and in this video we are going to talk about cylinder you can you can click on the cylinder that is the cylinder cylinder surface so basically in last tutorial i'll share with you basically in this ui work like a cylinder you have to edit the edit the mesh to interact with it on cylinder you can see there is three canvas so alpha underlay and alpha cutout the cylinder and this is a pointable canvas mouse basically i explained to you that is the even system and on every system you have to add pointable canvas the thing is just this thing like you have to create cylinder and then you have to on the canvas you have to just a ray interactable pointable canvas pointable canvas mesh and pointable canvas unity event wrapper basically these are the event multiple kind of event for the audio like whenever we are clicking so it's getting some sound so that's the cool thing here you can see this is the mesh like last tutorial we created the mesh as a collider to add cylinder ovr camera mesh then normal mesh mesh renderer mesh collider and then collider surface finally i'm just explaining them these are the component and don't uh, get fearful that i am explaining to you it is much more complicated so if you are remembered so you can add one by one all the component on the canvas you can see we have to add not that much thing but for the rounding we have to add image and then we have to pass this canvas render texture canvas size filter and these are the vertical layout means how we want to shape our canvas so this is the uh, official way to add the thing but let's suppose you want to add uh, this kind of uh, ui you you have a canvas and you want to uh, just want to just make that curve so what you have to do is just you have to copy this one and whenever we are going so already i have added this one if you have not set up so at that time you have to just copy cylinder pointable canvas and ovr camera ray so we have already ovr camera rays we have already pointable canvas so i'm just copying cylinder so just copy this one we have just pasted this three canvas here and here you can see we have already one canvas and we have already set up this so basically we have to remove this thing so just remove this one and remove this one and this is the graphic caster and uh, let me check that if we are getting normal canvas graphic caster is uh, by default and here is the cylinder so basically this is the thing and just turn on this thing so you are able to see there is a cylinder so this is the value you can manage but uh, if we want to do directly so what we have to do just turn off this thing and off this one okay we want to make this canvas is a to make a curve ui okay so what we have to do just go on the canvas underlay and one more thing that you have to remember that this is not going to be a transparent if you want to make a canvas transparent so you have to use this one and if you want to without transparent so you are going to use this one and this is the most performant and most uh, means advanced canvas you can so here is the thing just turn off and after the turn off here you can see it is getting smaller so just go on the canvas so here you can see on the canvas underlay that is the maze and audio basically whenever you are clicking anywhere so audio sound is coming so just go on the canvas and you have to just turn off this thing because we just don't want you can just delete in the future but for now just you can turn off and here you can see we are able to see a very small canvas so just go here and here you have to just off the content size filter vertical layout so make it back so that we can see the size okay and you have to make this size uh, just similar to our canvas so just do it bring this canvas inside the this canvas okay and now let's run let's see 
and everything will work here so if there is anything so you can just place with the position and let's run let's see how it's working so i think position wise it is not looking good so let's run let's see how it's working okay so position is not good so what we have to do just go on the canvas and make sure that x position is zero y position is zero and z position is zero okay after that you have to just click here and then bring back here and let it above and let's run it and let's see how it's looking again so now you can see we are able to get the curve canvas okay basically you can see this is the curve so what happened is just there is two canvas basically back one and front one so basically on the camera we just saw only uh, front uh, so whenever we run in the unity uh, we just saw the only this one and if you want to turn off this one so basically here is the image so you can just make it turn off okay so that is the thing uh, this is the simple way create the curve canvas okay and whenever you will click here so that will work in the oculus so that will work so this is the simple way to make the curve canvas in the meta xr so basically if you want to create from the scratch so you can do but we have to add lots of component and if you get anything missing so that will not work so best thing is just duplicate from the sample and then add here so that's it for today tutorial and thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video bye bye take care